Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored to have been one of the chosen students to be able to speak and share the intensity of emotions we are all feeling as the class of 2020 graduates today. As I sat at my kitchen table, brainstorming ideas for this speech, I struggled at first. But coincidentally enough, across the table from me, I noticed the unfinished puzzle my family and I had been working on for the past few days. As I looked up and saw all of the small pieces scattered around of each other, all of my struggling for ideas and brainstorming came to a halt. I figured that the best way to explain what I have to say is to relate it to a puzzle. As we all know, every single one of us are faced with struggles in life. We all have our own battles and struggle with challenges completely different from the person sitting next to us. At these moments, when life throws problems in our direction, take a step back because these are the most defying moments of our life. When a struggle comes your way in life, no matter how big or small, be thankful. Be thankful because this struggle gives the opportunity to see so many things from a new perspective. A struggle gives you two choices. You can choose to feel defeated and give up, or you can see it as an opportunity to grow, conquer, and learn. No, I am not saying that you can't be disappointed at all, because I know it can be frustrating, but you must trust that you are strong. Even when you do not understand what is happening, you cannot quit. All the adversity life presents to us are like all the small pieces of a puzzle. We feel overwhelmed and wonder, why is this happening to me? Or, how will I know what to do? We wish we could just understand why things happen the way they do and have all the answers. But you can't see the puzzle's final picture until you have faced all the individual pieces first. But once you do put the pieces together, no matter how long it took, or how frustrated you felt, you feel a sense of peace and pride while looking at your beautiful masterpiece. Class of 2020, we are special. We have been through a lot in our four years of high school, and this is certainly not the way we thought we'd be ending our senior year. But I know that nothing can hold us back because we have proven that we have overcome struggles before. When we get knocked down, we always get right back up. As we leave high school and go our separate ways in the world ahead of us, I ask one thing of all of you. When life gets tough, never give up. Because the feeling of overcoming an obstacle that you thought you would never be capable of overcoming is done, that right there is one of the greatest feelings in the world. Especially when you were so close to giving up in the beginning. As easy and tempting as it sounds to just quit when struggles come your way, you must choose to not give in. Do the right thing by getting back up, and you'll feel better about yourself and gain more respect that way too, because people will notice your perseverance. We must strive to live a life where we can say we have had almost no regrets. We may never know in the moment why certain obstacles occur, but I can assure you that every single one of us in this class can look at that struggle in the face, smile at it, and not let it beat them. Because once again, the final picture is always so much better than all of the separate pieces. Thank you, class of 2020. I wish you all the best. Now, I would like to introduce our next speaker, Adriana Nikolova. I get a call one Sunday evening saying, hey, would you like to speak at graduation? Taken aback and slightly flustered from this unexpected offer, I blurt out yes. And I think and ponder over and contemplate what I'm even going to say to all of you in this speech. It has to be memorable and it has to be unique. And as I'm thinking to myself, memorable, unique, memorable, unique, I realize that our whole senior year has been just that. Memorable, unique, and unexpected. Our senior year has been historic as we graduate in a manner never before done. Our senior year has also been historic in the way that it has changed our lives so unexpectedly. Many of us wished it could have played out differently, that we could see our friends in the halls of McDowell at least one more time as a Trojan. Our senior year certainly has been unexpected. Yet our senior class is the toughest class to graduate McDowell. We didn't quit when we faced hardships. We gathered together to create new opportunities while the rest of the world was at a standstill and we held on to hope that we will not be forgotten in the midst of a crisis. We pushed through these four years, especially the last couple of months, because we are the class of 2020. Others may take these unexpected times as a sign to quit, not the class of 2020. We take unexpected and we turn it into the chance to keep moving forward. Together, we take unexpected and we turn it into the opportunity to cherish the memories we've had throughout our years here at McDowell. Every day we came to school and every time we represented McDowell, this class of 2020 stepped up to make the most out of the moment. 
I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say I have made so many unexpected memories that I never want to forget, and I have made so many unexpected friendships that I never want to lose. McDowell Class of 2020 really is the toughest out there. Once we graduate, there is nothing we can't push through. Amidst difficult times, we can create our own opportunities to be innovative and inspiring. Above all, we as a class of 2020 can find things to be grateful for and cherish in any circumstance. McDowell class of 2020 did not let unexpected take away our senior year. I will forever value every unexpected moment I had with all of you here at McDowell. And on that note, with respect to our senior t-shirts, I'm a head out, but before I go, I'd like to introduce the school board president, Mr. DePlacido.